Welcome to a new episode of the Advanced Java Tutorial Series. Today I show you how easy it is to read from or write to an Excel file in Java. Of course you won't do this on your own, you will need a special library for that. There are many possible libraries out there, but the most common one is Apache Poi. Apache Poi, as you can see on the official website, can read and write OLE2 files which are basically XLS, DOC or PPT files, as well as OpenXML formats, which are XLSX, DOCX or PPTX. So it can basically read all the Office files you could think of. It also supports Outlook, Visio and some other Office products. I already created a project in Eclipse and let's include the library into our project. If you are using Maven, you can include those two dependencies into your POM file. The first one is the basic one you need for XLS files, and the second one are for XLSX files, so the OpenXML files. If you are not using Maven, you visit the official Apache POI website and go to the download section, and then you download the binary distribution here, which I have already done, and I will create a folder called lib here where I copy both the files into. Those are the POI and the POI 00 XML files. We will add both to the build path and now we create a new class. First we will start with writing Excel files. So I call the class write Excel and I will create a main class here. To work with Apache POI or in general all Excel libraries, you need to have a basic knowledge on how Excel files are internally structured. This sounds more complicated than it is. If we open up an Excel file, the Excel file is called workbook. So the first we do in our class, we create a workbook. Those classes are all starting with the HSSF tag and here is the workbook where we create a new instance of. If you want to use an XLSX file, you would just use XSSF workbook, which are the same classes but for XLSX files, so the open XML format. Now we have our file, but the next step are the sheets. Every workbook contains multiple sheets, or at least one sheet, and we now need to add a sheet to our workbook. So we create HSFS sheet, which you can do by workbook.createSheet, and here you can simply create a sheet or give this sheet a name. So we will give it a name and call it first Excel sheet. The next step, every sheet consists of rows and columns. So we will first add a row to our sheet, which is the HSSF row class, and we call sheet.createRow. Here we need to add a row number, so because this is the first row we add, it's the zero. Now the row would be empty, so we create a cell, which do you do by using row.createCell, where you also add the column index and now we use cell.set cell value where we put in a string into our cell so this will be the first cell to finish this up we need to write the workbook into a file so workbook dot write new file output because we want to write it in file which I call excel.xls so this will overwrite my file in the project folder and we need to close the workbook as well so this will throw an IO exception which we will just throw away or you can handle it by your own I will now close the file so I can overwrite it and delete it executing this and refreshing the workspace with F5 we get our excel file back and now we have the first Excel sheet down here with the cell with the value we give it. I will now do some customizing on this Excel sheet. So for example we want to create a date format on this cell. We would say row dot create cell one because it's the next index and 
then we need to define a data format which is a abstract cell format which can be used to create different format styles different cell styles which we will now create a cell style which I call date style because I want to store a date in it and this will be workbook.create cell style so we don't need to create the cell style on our own the object is automatically created by the workbook but we need to set the style on format we want and here we now call format dot get format and now I'll pass through the Excel date format patterner which is basically day day month and the year which is the German representation of the date so you can customize it however you want and now we set the cell style and we set our cell value which I just write new date you can reuse the date style as often as you want in your project and there is one more trick which you can use if you just want to create a cell and set a value you don't need to use this those two lines you can just write row dot create cell and say set cell value to whatever you want and it will do the same as this one here but now you can't add a cell style or something to this one so I will execute this I need to close the file here and now I open up this one you see the first cell here is our date value and our third cell so the cell for our date is too small to fix this we can simply say sheet auto size column and now we say the column index which is 1 because 1 is our date cell re-execute the process and now you see the cell has the exact width it needs to display the date that's all about writing to Excel we will now do the same for reading with Excel create a main class here and of course we will read from our recently created Excel XLS file to read an Excel file you will also create an HSSF workbook which you now create with the constructor where you pass an input stream so we create a file input stream from our excel.xls file and again throw the AO exception and now we want to get the sheet from our excel file so we create a sheet object and call the workbook to give out the sheet so we have two possible ways to do that we can either use the sheet name or if we don't have the sheet name we say sheet add and call it by the index which is null so the first one then we ask the sheet for the row which is our first one and we now call a row dot get cell where we get the first cell number and say get string cell value I will just display this out on the console and execute it and you see it's the first cell so it works normally you would ask first which cell type the cell is and if this is from the type HSF cell string you would do this step and print out the string cell value otherwise you would get an error on this that this field is no string value to get the date value you would need to question if it is a number type because Excel stores dates as a number you can now call get numeric value which displays you the date as an Excel number uh, but you can also ask for the date cell value which gives you the value as a date object so these are the basics on the Apache POI library there are a lot more things you can do you can apply conditional formatting on your cells and also use formulas or ranged cell values but this would make the entrance to this library a lot more difficult so we will stop here and thanks for watching
If you have any questions, write a comment, and I hope I see you soon.